Hey everybody, welcome back to Ravenhawk Coins and another edition of The Nickel Hunt. Yes guys, we have a $100 box of nickels. We're going to open this up and see what we have, hoping that they are circulated. Maybe we get some good finds, you just never know. But here we go. We have, dun dun dun, circulated nickels. So what we will do is get out are things to make the nickel mids. And if we find any obvious enders, we will open them live on film. But if not, we'll be back. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. All right, everybody, so no obvious enders, and we're gonna get into the very first of the nickel mids and see what we find. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. All right, everybody, so we got through the first nickel mid, and we have some really cool finds. First of all, the 2009 streak lives on, guys. Check this out. Yes, a 2009 Denver, followed by another 2009 Denver. I was really happy to find those because, guys, this 2009 streak's been pretty epic. Then we have a really, really nice example of a Black Beauty. If you do not know what a Black Beauty is, this is one. And this is a type of lamination error when over time the entire nickel will turn black. And it's really, really cool. They actually have a premium. You can look them up. Um, I've seen them slabbed even. Uh, so, you know, they can bring a nice premium. I keep all the ones I find. This one is a 1958. And I believe it's a Denver, but let me take a double look. Yep, 58D. Followed up by two 1954s, guys. Check this out. This one has a little something on the coin, but not too bad. And it is, I think this is a San Francisco, guys. Let me see here. Yeah, 1954S. And then the next one is a D. So we got a 1954S and a D in the mix very very cool and then next we have a 1953 and that's a denver then a 1948 philly last but not least guys a 1940 philly so no buffaloes and no silver just yet but hey you never know what you're going to find, you got to keep looking, guys. It is in the numbers. And remember, you're getting it for face value. How can you go wrong with face value hunting, right? We're going to get into the next nickel mid and see what we find. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. All right, guys. So we got through the next of the nickel mids, and we have another 2009. So the streak is strong today. Three so far. Very, very cool. Love finding the modern key date. And then we have another 1954. And this one is a Denver. And in the 54s, guys, you want to keep your eyes open on the S in uh, for the S over D. This is a 1940 Philly. And last but not least, we got a 39. And it is a Philly. All right, guys, so we're going to get into the next one. Hope to find something good. Got the fingers crossed. You just never know what you're going to find. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we got through the third one. We only have one find, but surprisingly enough, it is a 2009. And I will take that all day, any day, every day. We have two more nickel mids to get through, guys. Keeping these fingers crossed. Let's see what we get. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we got through number four. We have two finds, and the first one is a 1956 Philly, followed by a 52 San Francisco. So very, very cool. Always happy to find them in the 50s. One more nickel mid to go, guys. Let's see what we get. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we got through the final nickel mid and another 2009 Denver. I believe that, guys, makes one, two, three, 
four, five total in the box. Unreal. Then we have a 1954 Denver. Followed up by a couple 1952s. This is a Philly. And then another 52, which is a Philly also. Then a semi-key date, a 1951 Denver. And this actually has a little bit of wood graining going on. But guys, that's a $4 nickel all day long. That 51 right there is a $4 nickel. One of the reasons I do this, and I definitely love getting coins in the 50s because a lot of the key dates and semi-key dates run in there so you want to make sure to keep your eyes open but hey there's stuff in almost every decade of nickel so you want to make sure you study up watch the videos and definitely keep hunt hunting guys because that's when you're going to find really good things make sure to take care of uh, help support the other channels out there help them grow and if you want to correspond, it's ravenhawkcoins at gmail.com. Our PO box is 721-296, Norman, Oklahoma, 73070. And like always, guys, make sure to take care of each other. Ravenhawk Coins, have a great day!